Some people like to twist the truth to suit themselves. Some people like to twist themselves to suit the truth. And some people do the twist because they can't do the locomotion. Now and again when I get bored, you know, which is quite a lot of the time, even standing top of the nickel is bored half the time, but we're not I remind myself that at one stage I taught myself how to talk in any letter in the alphabet, so if it was any particular place I'd have to be. I only have to think of any letter in the alphabet, and I can start talking right away. Now, the great thing about Mick is, from Mick, you never find any royal, vindictive vehemence, no vitriolic verbiage, no vituperation, no vaseline, no prevaricating, just not as full of vigor, vitality. He's been the victim of the citizenship. But he is a visionary. But if you're thinking in terms of pay, that's much easier than to do with politics. I'll be talking to Joe Douglas. <laughs> the much pillory building with the plethora of platitudes, felt that the nationals of panacea for all these pains and problems, he won't promulgate and prognosticate for those who are proficient and profound. He has a suspicious perspective pertaining to philosophy and phlebotomy. He could tell up with the petty, the paeons, the pariahs, the purple, and the puny. He still has nowhere to go a half twelve on a Saturday and believe me, he can't be the good scribble. Funny enough, it's all an Arctic division. Otherwise, I wouldn't have came. Tell me what I got here ahead of the blue I have no interest in heritage. Because my father was in the CIA. He was going on to have a very tenuous link with the CIA in East Chicago. And one of the great successes of my dad was he ever, ever bought me two places. One was Vinegar Hill. And was going to come over to East Chicago and see where we start from. So I know exactly where the place was. There was nothing in it except trains and trucks. And Horses. Do you know what the horses make money? Yeah, yeah. Because they weren't there, they were going to be <laughs> But anyway, I'm glad to be here. The modern words of James Joyce, I thought it was going to be an arts thing, so it's not so, but I'm still going to talk about it once. <laughs> James Joyce said that art is the human disposition <coughs> for a sensible or intelligible manner for an aesthetic ending. Which, as you all know, that's true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm delighted to be here. I'm a small farmer now, I live in Leeds. <laughs> I have a Mazzy Beggs and Georgie Boyd that was built in 1963, the same year that John F. Kennedy was going out with Marilyn Monroe, and my tractor was still young. <laughs> so if you're at the heritage anymore, I had to start from a tractor. No, so I come from Bloxdown when my house is gone. So I have no heritage except that I live inside the Red Windmill pub, which is a monk's place. But the great reason why we've been here today is we put on mall. lives across the road. So when Mick says he's coming now, so it'll be Moby in. So I'm going to see him now, see how he's getting on. Now he plays for Pats. Is that worth a round of applause? No. Yeah. <laughs> very seldom you get to meet the last radical in Ireland. That was McGill. <laughs> we all saw him there, he's still there. You know? <laughs> so when I say he reminds me, well, we should have pulled the world for a while anyway. You know, we all have to move on to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Mick and Michael for inviting me here along. I really enjoyed myself and delighted to meet you all. Hope to see you all again in 1500 years time. 